Well, after I did that little video of repairing the mower deck, the fella seen it and he brought his mower deck out for me to repair. He tried to fiberglass it, so I'm going to try to get rid of some of that fiberglass like I did here. I'm going to have to weld in a piece along here and then a piece along here as well. I was curious to see whether this was the same bolt pattern as a trailer rim. I have a few trailer rims around, but I'm not sure if that's the same bolt pattern or not. It looks pretty wide. I was thinking I could have got away with something like that, but nope, I don't think so. Anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this. That's an old box I had there. I'm gonna cut a pattern, same as this, and I'm gonna transfer it onto there, and I am going to cut out the piece I need for this. So that's my next step.
right, well, this was the best side here. This is what I got so far. As ugly as it is, I think it's going to work out just fine for him. He's not concerned about looks. And, I would, and the hub fits in the top here. So I'm going to have to clean this up a little bit once I get the hub. He took it home uh, to put new bearings in it, I guess, or to grease it up. I'm not sure. And as I cut this piece in, you folks seen this. I welded that in because the bottom was rusted out. It was rusted all in here. This one, I'm not going to have to do that. I'm just going to have to put a piece in here and clean it up along here. There's a hole here. I may have to put a little strip in here. I'm not sure. But... Uh, Grass, I think, and water lays in there. Grass, anyways, lays in there and rots it out. <clears throat> so what I used for this, and that's, it's cool enough, and I just welded that. That's not too bad. What I used for that is this old oil drum here that I kept. It's fairly thick material. There's a bit of slag on there, so it looks thicker than it really is. But, uh, hard to find a spot with no slag on it. Anyways, you get the gist of it. That's why I like keeping those old uh, oil drums around for uh, sheet metal, I guess. It's fairly thick. I don't even know if I'd call it sheet metal, but I guess it is pretty thick. Anyways, that's going to be pretty sturdy. There's not going to be... I don't know how much flexing it did from the factory, because that is pretty darn thin stuff. What I put in is... is uh, I wouldn't say it's twice as thick. Well, it's... it's uh, you know what? It's probably the same thickness now that I look at it down here. Just that in some spots it was it was pretty thin so I yeah anyways that's how it's looking you can see here my weld wasn't great because I hit a lot of slag here a lot of rust I should say it turned to slag uh, but uh, I do use a gasless wire folks and I do work outside with it and I don't find it a problem it's not that windy I don't use a flux car it's a hard hard wire with gas and uh, the only spots I have a little bit of problem is if I'm going too quick and I hit paint or if I hit a lot of rust, then I have to slow down and let let it uh, burn the rust out and, and burn the paint out. And then I just keep going. He was not concerned about looks with this either. He was concerned about lasting. That's what he's concerned about. This gentleman owns that uh, Polaris Indy Light 340. I don't think I've ever showed you, but, but he brings it out. I replaced the bearings for him in the rear about... Oh, maybe six years ago, I guess, and it's still going strong. But that's his mower underneath the tarp. He covered it right up, right away, because he thought it was going to rain that day, and it did rain that day. All of his stuff looks pretty darn new, and he said the one thing he does is when he buys something new, first thing he does is he waxes it, and puts a good coat of wax on it. And when he's done mowing, he washes it all. But... Uh, Anyways, his snowmobile too looks really, really good shape as well. It looks pretty new, and it's actually a few years newer than mine, but mine is just totally beat from sitting out in the sun, and, and it was never waxed a day in its life, and I think that's the key to something like that when you buy it. Even plastic, he waxes it, and it uh, seems to make a huge difference. All of his stuff looks pretty new, but he keeps it inside all the time too, and he's not using it, and I think that is probably the key to this kind of stuff. Um, he's the kind of guy too that if anything makes a squeak or a noise he's got to get it looked at right away to see uh, get it before it compounds any other problems but uh, as far as this goes he's not concerned about the look of the weld on that or the extra piece of material on there he wants this to last he worked at Canadian Tire up here in the parts department for years and years and years and he knows his stuff and uh, I believe he said when he bought this they had smaller ones there, and uh, anyways, for some reason, they only had a 12 horse there, and they gave him a deal on this 15.5 horse, which was pretty good, I thought. And I went to my brother's too, like, they have quite a selection of, of these uh, for parts. And I got looking around, and here's a mower deck here. I'm going to set this side. It's a 42 inch, but look at the condition of that for the age of it. It's an older one as well. My neighbor had it, and I think he probably wash it all the time too. The mower I believe is that one right over there. The one for parts. That's where it came from. And this is the mower deck off of it. So it'll be a good spare for the rest of ours. Somebody said my little mower they thought it needed bearings in the bottom end. It doesn't need bearings. What it is is the brakes bouncing on these. 
the bearings on this here is good. In the last video, somebody commented it needed bearings or sound like it needed bearings. It's not bearings. I'll show you what it is. <clears throat> it's these under here. These little brake shoes here, loose, and they're rattling on this. So, but that's neither here nor there. That's the noise you were hearing when it was running. And probably a whole bunch of tin work that's flopping on it too that I gotta, I gotta bolt back down. But no, the bearings are all good. I checked the bearings in that mower deck when it was off. I made sure I checked that and I greased them all up. Uh, I greased everything up. I even greased where it gets hung up there, where it's slung onto the, to the mower. Haven't used this one much. I have my other one out back. Um, if you can see what we've done. Hey, there's Heather out here again. <laughs> she just made supper, right? Okay. So anyways, we got, I went at it the other night and I mowed all this in here as well. We're slowly pushing the, pushing the grass back here. Um, I mounted my, I don't know if I showed you this. I was talking about it the other, in the other video. I brought out my cement drill and I drilled some holes and I anchored my, my uh, tire machine there. And I pulled, Heather and I pulled all the tires off these rims. And we're probably going to store these rims out back in case we need them. We have these ones to go to pull the tires off. The tires get trashed and then the rims will pile up somewhere. Uh, slowly, I've been pushing this back. We have it all mowed in there. I have to go at it again. It, mows, it grows so quick. Um, so I'll show you. Let's, let's take a walk out and around here. I mowed more back uh, on the other side of the driveway. You'll see here. Sorry if I'm shaking this a little much. I'll slow down here and I'll try to hold it more gentle. This is growing lots up here. Have to get out of that truck to and change that door and then go get the other one for the fella. Anyways, still a little messy in here, but I gotta get at that and clean that up. I leave the tractor parked here now for because I'm gonna need it. These irises are just uh, doing super good. I planted these years and years ago here. Yellow ones, mm, not so much. They're just starting. I want to spread those a bit. Anyways, you folks seen this. This was all. We went out and cleaned this all up. There wasn't much cleaning there. Look at the darn mosquitoes looking to lay eggs. You see them in there swarming? Good grief. Mowed all this a while back, but then you see, I started to mow all the way over now. And I have to do some work, but I want to eventually mow it all the way over to the bush and plant. Lots of trees in there, like, uh, well, I wouldn't say lots, but a few, but I want fruit trees. I don't want something I can't eat anything off of. So this is, this was our garden last year. I have to level this a little more, but it'll work not too, too bad. Um, my cousin Don and his wife, they got a campground lot up in Elk Lake, a little ways from here, and it, they got hydro hookup and everything, so that's a plus for them. So I think they're quite happy about that. So, how did I went at this? We cleaned this all up the other night, mowed all this. Um, in here I mowed all this too. Uh, Heather moved all this stuff out, which has to get taken care of. Like I said, this isn't mine, this is leaving before the snow comes. Uh, so not much left over here. Little pile here I got to pick up of just little sticks and stuff that was raked here. This, these have to be filled in a little bit. Not sure what I'm going to do with those. They were a set I bought for my dad years and years ago back in, I bet you, 1990 I guess maybe. And he passed away in 1998. So... It'll truck belongs to my son. So just this pile here, I don't really want to get rid of too much out of here. I like that stuff. That's uh, there's a ball there I just stepped on. So I want to keep this stuff. So anyways, that's uh, that's how it's looking now. We're slowly getting it set up. We're weeding out what we did not want. And there was a bit of what we didn't want. Now, with that said, I'll probably be looking for it in a couple of weeks. But a lot of it was just, just things that I, I used a little piece here, didn't need it. You know, it, I cut a piece off of it, it was too short, so I tossed it in a pile. 
Well, I didn't have a vehicle to haul into the scrap with lately. I just had that car. Before that, I had the white car, so I couldn't haul into that to the scrap. But now we have the trailer and the Jeep Liberty for a while. We have that to do. So anyways, that's, that's what the view is looking like around here. I eventually want to get it mowed, like I say, all the way to the bush line. And I want to clean this up and mow in here. And I want to store all my stuff in one spot. Maybe put a fence along here and keep my stuff in behind the fence. It's kind of what we were thinking of when we first started this. <clears throat> Excuse me, but I know we mowed in through here. I mowed all over through here. Heather cleaned up all the boards in here. Toss them in the toss them in the uh, tractor bucket, and then we got rid of them. But uh, that's how it's looking. Still a little pile of my goodies there. There's mostly copper wire, copper pipes, and aluminum, and that bed frame. The bed frame, I'm not going to keep it. It's, it's really no good for nothing. I hate trying to drill that stuff. It just destroys the drill bit. You know, even with the uh, even with those uh, man, those gold colors, the cobalt. Uh, coated bits it just seems to destroy them so it's not even worth keeping the springs I take the springs off I throw them in a bin so I have lots of springs very shortly I want to get at that dozer too but I just have this little job for the fella here and I have another job of fixing a winch for a fella and then uh, put the dozer together and then we'll be back to to cutting so that's my stuff there. This has to be sorted out here. That's my stuff as well. But this belongs to that fella all along here. And I'll show you what we have. This in here then I got to get in here. I got to clean this up. It was so wet here folks. It was unbelievable before I mowed last last night. Night before. Last night. And it's dried up a lot so the wind can get in here. Hmm, there's some of those old bicycles I collect. That is a CCM. I'm going to pull that out. I have a lot of these. I collect a lot of these old bicycles. I like them. I know they shouldn't be here. They should be taken care of, but I really didn't have the spot before, but now I do. <clears throat> Excuse me. That is a CCM Encore. <laughs> and First I thought this was bent, and I'm still not sure, but I wonder if it wasn't like that right from factory, because down here it's not bent. I think it's just, I don't know, maybe that was factory, I'm not sure. But, uh, you see there. CCM. Encore. Quite the pattern, I'm a fan of too, quite the design. I have probably 30 different bicycles like this, older ones. I have some stored upstairs in the old house and some out by that little greenhouse. I like them. I'll never ride them. They remind me of when I was a kid because I learned to ride a bicycle on a girl's bicycle just like that. The very first one my sister taught me how. So uh, yeah, I collect them and eventually once I get my building done, maybe I'll hang them up in the rafters. Anyways, that's uh, probably getting a long boring video video for you folks. I'm going to go get some supper and then I'm going to probably come out and get back to that. But you can see here I'm telling you folks Heather and I are going to have a lot of grass to mow once this is done. We've wanted to get at this for a while. Haven't really had time but now that we're waiting for the basement hole to dry up a little bit now we have time. Dog has all kinds of choices where to lay now. <laughs> There's so many uh so many spots and he picks the driveway. Don't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anyways, we'll come back here and I'll show you what it looks like as well. <clears throat> Excuse me, folks. So, I want to get in here and clean this all up here. When I say clean up, I mean level up. I want to level this up. I want to take that out back too. Not sure if I'm going to use that for storage or not. It's a really good engine in it and it's a spare one for my motorhome and that's a 1974 carry van cube van somebody turned into a an rv at one time but i probably think the emissions didn't apply to that in 74 i could be wrong it's a good 318 in that so let's come back here and you'll see how it looks back here we want to tackle this as well that's going to be another load we're going to take there's some tin in there that was off an old building that was from here years ago so that's what it's looking like 
that little section to clean up over there. Put the snowmobile over way. That's another one I got a long time ago. Didn't really have any place to put it, but now we're starting to. So uh, that's what it's looking like. That's my son's stuff out there, my oldest boy. Like I say, he's a diamond driller. Oh, somebody asked me what a diamond driller is. A diamond driller, they have diamonds uh, on the end of their drill bits. And they take core samples in rock and they look for minerals, mostly gold. They drill down for and pull out the cores. That's what a diamond driller is. The diamond is actually on the end of the drill and it's industrial diamonds. Hope that clears that up. So anyways, that's the old house. A little bit of that to clean up. A little bit in here to clean up. Some brush and stuff. Um, not too much more to go. And then we want to work our way. Level things out over there. Get rid of this. We want to cut this firewood up. Move this firewood back and split it. Camper trailer had to use it for storage. She keeps her, some of her Christmas stuff in there and whatnot. So we'll go at that too and clean that up eventually. And uh, we had frost here last night, believe it or not, folks. That was pretty wild. Frost, I couldn't believe it. And the chickens there, they are all around Heather. They come running thinking that uh, she's going to feed them. Oh, and we also have some of these uh, Saskatoon berry service berries. Some people call them sugar plums up here, but... Uh, we have them grown right beside the driveway now. So I'm guessing one year Heather had, Heather made some wine and some, uh, it didn't turn out well. Some of the berries, uh, she saved that froze and the freezer quit on us. So I think we tossed them out along here and they're starting to grow. Lots of wild raspberries. Um, I haven't done much with the gravel yet. I did mow all over around there to the left where the motor home is. I got a mow in here, but I just put new lawn seed in here a week or so ago. Um, got to mow this again, but Heather's still got her covered wagons all tidied up. It's supposed to be uh, plus nine tonight, but sometimes you can't trust that. So we're going to leave them covered. I think that's what she's up to in case they freeze. But uh, we did have frost this morning and it was a fairly thick frost here. So we're glad we covered them up. We are just hoping that the blueberry blossoms didn't get froze off. Because we were having, we did have berries on the plants in the bush. Chickens are all out this morning looking, are all out this evening looking for a handout. They're looking to eat, the one looking to eat my uh, onion pot. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they'll eat just about anything if you're not paying attention. But they just follow Heather around looking for food all the time. Yeah. No, we, I think it's because I go inside and I give them a Yeah, go to the house and watch what they do. Watch this. Watch this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, another one comes running. Looking for food. There they all go. Watch this. They'll actually jump up inside now. They're getting a little too pushy. <laughs> We throw it away from the house a little bit too now because uh, because they actually do their business right in front of the doorstep, which isn't the greatest. <laughs> Goes another one here. Yeah. Anyways, that's it for this evening, folks. Um, you take care, and we'll talk to you another time. Bye-bye.